Hello. <laughs> this is my Indigo Mind, and I am your host, Tashana. Okay, we're going to be covering a couple of things today. Okay, we're going to be starting off this just um, So, yeah, it's confirmed. TMX has died. It's getting too late. I won't um, you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I, I, I know never you thought feel the same. It actually was. So come on, give me you love. Know, I've done I'm my gonna show you how to move. I don't move with my um, body. I just wasn't come going to come on touch, camera and, and just say what everyone say. else was saying for the hell of it. And yeah, you know what's up. So yeah, Ain't nothing I, I won't do. I won't do and for your real body. Information, so give me news. all you got um, right now. I wasn't just going to report as you know it came baby. out because no one really so had um, the right information. You know and to tell you the truth, baby. I really truly don't so think come give me love. Love. I never felt nothing um, like this. Okay. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. So, I can't fake it. So what I'm doing I'm with right. you, my legs go weak. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat. You know, check out Queen. This fake plan is getting so strong. Love me till the morning, love me all night long. There's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move. I don't move with my body. Once they realized that she was in the studio with her, talking about Ari's and then once they realized that they had a fake, okay? It was like Lamia, okay? Which is that she's a cousin. Okay, so you never pull up to them. So we gon' watch the best thing. So come give me love. Now about a day and a half ago, you know you're mine, baby. So come give me love. I know there was a lot of bad words and arguing. People were saying, you know, I love you, but I'm not with you. So it's not a really nice job. I'm sorry. Now after that, the next day, I'm just gonna be like, 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 I'm but we're having dif difficulties with the edit of the video. I really wanted to drop the video and the song together. Should we wait to drop the song until the video edits are resolved or drop the song and wait for the video to be finished or whatever like that? Then she gives everyone the option to choose, like, you know, drop the song alone or wait until the video is finished. So now, of course, after Queen dropped the statement, everyone assumed, okay, maybe the video wasn't completely finished yet. But in reality, that wasn't the case. Now, Queen did go onto Twitter and let everyone know what the holdup on the video actually is. So she goes onto Twitter and she tweets, for those of you asking for the set up video, remember this isn't just my video. Both parties need to be happy with the video. So the update is we're waiting on Ari's team to approve the edit so we can drop it for y'all. Please be patient and don't go bugging Ari. Don't go blowing up her DMs either. So here is the thing with this. Queen Nyjah and her team approved the edit of the video and Ari and her team didn't. So that's why the video was not released when the song was dropped. Now, Okay, so 
I feel like, all right, a lot of people keep on um saying that, you know, she said the colorist things and, you know, and, and all of this, right? And this is true. But I think most of the outrage is coming from the fact that Ari Lennox is so hard on men. She's so hard on other people. So why you're letting her get this pass? I don't know. And I guess she came to her senses and was like, well, sis, let I'm not trying to get this, you know, little backlash or whatever. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to uh, approve that. So, child, let's keep listening, honey. So people started assuming that Ari's team thought that maybe they could hold up the whole release of the song and the video by not approving it because of all the backlash that Ari was getting from doing a collab with Queen. Now we could tell that Queen was kind of upset about the whole issue in the video of the, in the song not being released at the same time. So she goes onto Twitter and she tweets, never step out of my character or do something uncomfortable for someone else again. Big lesson learned. Now this time I know everyone is actually waiting on with that video. Shade. It doesn't seem like Ari and her team is gonna release that video approval anytime soon. Now Ari actually did just suffer a traumatic loss. She lost her little cousin. She was right. only 19 years old to a drunk driving head on collision. Now Ari has been posting it on her Instagram and her stories. You can tell she's very distraught about what happened. She went on to Instagram and she says, my angel, my sweetest, most ambitious angel with the most beautiful smile, an amazing cousin to me, an incredible big sister, an amazing daughter, an incredible friend, not you, not right now, completely heartbroken and confused, rest in paradise legend. I refuse to let the world forget your talent and beautiful soul. You and your beautiful friends deserve protection. I'm so sorry, baby love. Always singing your ass off even as a baby, Houston in this crazy world truly lost an angel. I was always inspired by you, baby love. I love you so much, Jay. Pa praying for peace and healing to all those that were blessed to know you. So obviously, guys, you can see that Ari's attention and focus is somewhere somewhere else now. She is currently grieving the loss of her cousin. So I'm hoping... Um, right. I'm hoping everybody could let this woman grieve. Um... Queen, stop throwing little jabs like you not the wrong person in this situation. Sis, you have to stop with it. Like, you have to stop doing it. You cannot continue to be the victim all the time, man. It's just undoable. It's undoable. Okay? Like, I just, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, like me personally, I probably wouldn't have gotten next to her that quickly. Like, I mean, because what she said was out of line, like it was not funny. And people's like, well, let it go. It's been a minute now. Because it didn't affect you, it's let it go. That's what it feels like. Because it's not shots at you, it's let it go. No, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. If she's wrong, she's wrong, and she should pay for just that. Like, don't I got time for that? Period. Okay? Moving on. Now, honey, let's talk about the fact that Miss Cordy B loves to throw a tantrum. What is this about? What happened? She done shut her dad going. Uh, Twitter down again. It's like every time her fans ask her, hey, when we getting new music? Hey, um, you know, when we getting what we supposed to be looking to you for? Like, we fans of your music. So, of course, we want you to do more music. But no. Mm -mm. And true Buckley's fashion, honey. She deletes her Twitter again. Again. See, with this one, we ain't finna do. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I'm not, Buckley's. Okay, I'm gonna need you to get your life, honey. Get your life. Because nobody got time for all of the things that is you. Okay? 
Your fans want music. They're supposed to want music. I do not understand why you don't get that. Oh my God. Child. See, this is why I'm out my business. Why am I in other people's business? You mind your business. Get sweet. Okay. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard about the whole Latoya Forever thing in Adam Ali. And to tell you the truth, doll, I thought I thought this had been over. Been over. I thought it was over. I did not know we were still here. Okay. But then I see a video. Of Miss Tasha K being as messy as she wants to be. Because that's just who she is. Sis is true to form. Okay? She 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 true to form. She's messy boots. But you know she's going to be messy. Okay? So she goes in to ask him all of these questions. And it's making him uncomfortable. However, he kept the cute. He didn't go into too many details. He said certain little slick things, you know, granted, period. After all the time she done threw her little slick shade when they was living in the house together under the same roof. For some damn reason. But, um... Yeah, so they finally split, whatever. My thing is this here. Number one, you have girls. I don't know what y'all don't get about that. Or, like, y'all don't care or nah. Like, it's like, I don't care if I got little girls. It's I'll just let any type of nigga walk into my house, like, I don't know his intention. I don't know anything about this man. I'm going to just let him come into my house, you know, because I don't care about anything. Not even me. That's what it feels like. Because, sis, why are you in another relationship already? Why? I don't know why females males, people, period, don't believe in healing in between relationships. It's not that deep. It's never that deep. Like, what is wrong? What is wrong? Like, give yourself a rest, honey. Relax. In between relationships. Stop jumping from one bed to the other. One man to the other. Just to say you got a man or just to say you got a girl is very classless and tacky and trashy. Seriously. Like, don't get me wrong, since you've been married for a long time. So, if you wanted to go sow your little royal oats or whatever when the kids wasn't around and they ain't meeting him and you doing you, you know what I'm saying? And then you go ahead about your business, he go ahead about his... But you starting whole channels out here. Whole channels. You heard what I said. She started a channel with him. Toya. Toya. We not doing that. No, you know what I mean? All 2021, I'm calling bullshit. Okay? Y'all just need something to do on the internet at this point. I'm convinced. It's like, I don't got shit else better to do. It's a pandemic. I'ma just, just entertain any old loser or fool and have them around my children. I don't, child. And then what makes it so bad is, Adam is such a pushover, and he's so laid back and calm that they were literally two totally different people. 
But what struck me was what I had been feeling this whole time. Even though they both said it in different ways, they both admitted to never really being in love with each other. And see, that's where people make the mistake. You know what I'm saying? That's where the mistake is made. When you jump into these relationships with these people, you do not know what is wrong with y'all. <laughs> Tell me, because I need to know. You don't know him. You don't know her. Why are y'all jumping into these relationships? Better yet having children. So now the baby's got to suffer. Is what you're telling me. Because you was too selfish to get to know each other. To do the courting phase. <laughs> but you don't hear me though. They don't, but you, they don't hear me though. Like, what's the problem? All I'm saying is, don't get all but hurt. Get to know these men that you're laying down having a baby with. Get to know these females. Hey, just because he got a nice car, little money, that don't mean he ain't cray cray and, 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 and weird shit running his jeans. You got to ask these questions. Why are y'all against having the conversations that need to be had in relationships? Is that not what we're supposed to do? I'm Lewis. some point, we have to take responsibility for the things that we do. When is that going to become normalized? Y'all normalizing everything yeah. and we normalize self-accountability. Can we normalize that? Oh, but y'all don't want to talk about that. Y'all don't want to talk about that. Uh, but yeah, um, he actually said, I would rather be, you know, responsible and take care of my kids and, and, and do what I'm supposed to do as a husband rather than be happy. But she's never been my happy place. She's never been my calm. That's not good. And y'all was together for nine years. That just shows you how long someone can fake a situation. I have zero of the time, okay? Third eye strong. I see the bullshit coming. Okay. I'm on your ass. No. Mm -mm. We not on the same page. We are not liking the same things. We are not going the same place. Okay? So I'm not even going to waste your time. Go ahead about your business. Okay? Life too short to be wasting nine years on somebody you ain't in love with. Who you damn near said you had oops babies with. On the internet. For later on, for those babies to have to see that. Who raised you? Ma'am? Look, see? This is why I mind my business. Why I'm minding this? So, this has been <laughs> my Indigo Mind. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will talk down in the comments. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, drop those hearts, okay? So I know it's real. Later for now. Bye. I disagree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh, I don't care. It's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you.